Auburn Soccer traveled to Statesboro, Georgia to take on Georgia Southern on October 23rd. The Paladins came into this game with a mission because they had lost at home to Greensboro on October 20th. Furman put in a hard-working performance, winning 2-1 with goals by Colton Henning and Clint Ritter. But before Furman scored, goalkeeper Sven Lisek had to come up with a flying save off a of Georgia Southern set piece. And then another from a shot 35 yards out. In the 19th minute, Henning put his goal away with an assist by Martin Ontiveros. Ten minutes later, Georgia Southern were able to equalize off a cross. Michael Gandier and Chris Duggan combined to allow Colton Henning to get another chance on target. The teams left all square at halftime. At halftime, Coach Allison challenged the team to work harder because with hard work he knew their skill would shine through. In the beginning of the second half, Georgia Southern were able to grab a quick opportunity that went narrowly over. The Paladins then kick-started into gear. Santa Bana started the shooting off with a shot that went narrowly wide. And then Ontiveros forced Georgia Southern's keeper into a save. And the Paladins were denied a penalty when a Georgia Southern defender leaped with his hands up in the air to block Martin Ontiveros' shot. But the Paladins' goal came in the 83rd minute off a corner kick. Clint Ritter's volley stunned the entire stadium, finding its home in the top corner of the net. In the 86th minute, Lisa came up with a big save to keep the Paladins ahead. The game ended 2-1, with Ritter's goal being the difference that separated the two sides. The Paladins next take on the Wofford Terriers on October 27th at 7 p.m. in Spartanburg, South Carolina. This is Furman's last regular season game. Come be a witness to the action as the Paladins score more goals, make more fantastic saves, and put together their bid for the Southern Conference Tournament. With your support, the players and staff of Furman Soccer know that we never walk alone.